This is a quick review of the RioLink 510A, a 5 megapixel PoE camera claiming smart detection, which I was keen to test out. I wanted to install it on the fence in the far corner of my garden, the elephant's graveyard, where there is no power, there is no Wi-Fi, and really not much happens, but I am going to put some new buildings there soon. So I wanted a camera down there, and thank goodness for PoE. I used a cheap generic mount for the camera, and as you can see, I've left a lot of slack in the cable so that I can easily move it when the new buildings go up. And you'll also see 18 infrared LEDs which the camera uses for night vision which we'll look at later. So my burial grade Cat 6 runs along the fence, through the hedge, behind the garage, under the driveway, along the conservatory wall, up the house wall, along the fascia board, and into the house, 150 feet, and it will be painted. A quick bench test to make sure the camera is working before I install it and check out the action on my Reolink Mac client. Here are my four cameras. Pixie is my Loomis cat camera. Garden is the new 510A. Rover is an indoor E1 Zoom PTZ on test and Garage is a solar powered Wi-Fi Argus 2 which takes a while to connect. I'm clicking on the cogwheel beside the 510A just to show you what's there really. You can play around with these to your heart's content to get the best picture for you. I would advise turning on 3D DNR. I find it Im improves the night vision clarity quite a lot. The stream settings allow you to get the best video across your network. Lowering the sensitivity can reduce false alarms. Mine are left high so that I can test out the smart detection. You can also set up a detection zone so that you can eliminate some tree or branch or leaf movements. You can record audio and you can turn off the IR lights if you don't need them. Keep a note of your camera info because you'll need it one day and here's where you can set up different recording schedules for each day of the week. This is also the heart of the smart detection system where you can choose to record people or cars or both and we'll be coming back to this. Here's where you set up your email and FTP and push notifications. The 510A supports memory cards of up to 256 gig but you might not realize you need to click on this screen to reveal the format button. Here you can set up other system users, choose your preferred date and time format, and also upload new firmware to the camera. So how smart is this camera? I've selected people detection in the hope of eliminating some of the continuous recordings I was getting here on the second, the third and the fourth, caused by insects attracted to the IR lights. But here on the fifth, I've activated people detection and all of those spurious alarms have gone. The same is true on the 7th. It's a transformation. Also gone are the false alarms for moving shadows and light changes. But wait, these are not people.
Oh, these are. That's more like it. And rain. Rain alerts are not eliminated, but you can reduce them by turning the sensitivity down. Don't get me wrong, I'm very happy with quite smart detection. Using the magnifying button at bottom right, you can also zoom in digitally on different parts of the screen. The quality is not great, but it might be useful if you've lost a phone or a dog. But the time-lapse feature is great for capturing speeded up sequences over many hours of changing weather, changing skies, eggs hatching, uh, plants growing, uh, even counting cars. And it's great fun too. So this camera has got a lot and it really is quite smart.